Amina Bazarama can now smile with her son. Her son has been discharged from the hospital after battling bouts of malaria for a week. malaria plus plus plus. We've been struggling with malaria for a long time. Before we were admitted, we had visited several other hospitals and the findings indicated that my child had high malaria and bacteria infection, but he was not getting better. Health workers say drug resistance in malaria treatment is now common. In about 30% uh, of the patients we get, they come in with resistance already due to the numerous and various types they have used before coming to hospitals. A similar concern has also been highlighted in a recent Lancet report which showed that drug-resistant malaria is gaining a foothold in Africa. Ugandan health workers are now discouraging patients from self-medicating so as to reduce incidences of drug resistance. Self-medication is the biggest complicator of all treatments that we give. So we strongly advise patients or people when they have signs and symptoms of malaria that least they can come and have a test done. Figures from Uganda's health ministry show that the country registers 25,000 cases of malaria per day. Doctors here say they treat 20 patients daily suffering from malaria. They are now encouraging the locals to use preventive measures like mosquito nets. The government is now promoting outdoor residue spraying and distribution of treated bait nets to keep the disease at bay. Mosquito themselves, there are still plenty. So we are calling upon the people, let's try and work on the water lodges, your environment. If there are bushes, clear the bushes. If there are water lodges in the compound, make sure there are no water drain, the water drainages are clear. If at all your house has got windows and in the evening you close the windows so that mosquitoes not enter into the house and you sleep under the mosquito net. Through a campaign dubbed Under the Net, the government has so far distributed over 27 million treated bed nets. Health workers are now hoping that this and many other initiatives will help Uganda become malaria-free. Hilara Isga, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.